you know, half purple, half green outfits for the family on, on Sunday? Probably. Probably a lot of those. You know, my mom and my sister, I could see them doing that. Probably, most likely. What is this like for the entire family? You know, you two growing up playing football mm -hmm. and then now in the biggest stage you could possibly be. Well, other than the Super Bowl. Probably the biggest game of our of our lives, you know, um, to date. But um, it's surreal, you know. I, I really want to know the odds. So anyone out there who's a mathematician and wants to entertain themselves with this, let me know the odds because it's crazy. It's uh, it's a uh, it's unreal and it's a uh, it's an opportunity of a lifetime and something that we will remember forever. Are you texting with him this week or talking to him? No, 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 no. None of that. Your, your brother was, and some of your family have kind of been saying that they think that within the kids, like you're, you're the favorite. Uh, I'm the oldest. I came first. I'm the trailblazer. You feel me? But I don't know if I'm the favorite. I don't. I don't. I think my family does a pretty good job of. We don't. We don't play that. My dad tries to instigate a lot. He thinks it's so funny. But um, yeah, they. I don't. I don't see any favorites. Do you think they're rooting for? Eagles a little more than the Vikings because you're the bigger brother? <laughs> I don't know, man. I hope so. Was it competitive growing up, though? Yeah, man. There was a point in time where, you know, we were both really young and, you know, we would, you know, brotherly, you know, functions, we would, we would compete. Yeah. But then there was a time where I got, you know, I went through a growth spurt and Eric was still young. And then I was just beating him and everything. <laughs> then he caught up to me. And then it was like, oh, we're back at it again. And then, like, now, and then, th then he started getting taller than me and started beating me. And I was like, okay, I got to come at him a little different. So it, we've always been competitive, you know. We we play sports together, and we've also played against each other um, in the driveway, baseball, you know, little things like that. But we've always been competitive. It's in our nature. This so. has got to be the biggest bragging rights ever, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if you'll ever hear the end of this. Like, I don't know. Unless we come back to the same situation, which is which is obviously possible. I mean, it happened once. It can happen again. But, um, dude, that's not. Yeah, whoever loses is gonna be it's gonna be messed up. John and Jim Harbaugh talked about how they didn't speak to each other for a while. Yeah. After the Super Bowl, it took. I can see that happening. Yeah. I can see that happening. Um, we both want it, you know, for 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 different reasons, like, or the same reason actually. We're trying to get to that, to that, to that big one. But um, I mean, damn, it's it's, it's unreal. It's still, you know, I, I've tried not to think about it, you know, just because it's it's. I mean, I've lived in a room with this kid for 17 years. You know what I mean? And we've pretty much lived the same lives on opposite sides of our state, you know, and now we're, you know, we're on different teams and we're in the same scenario, um, playing the same position. Um, it's, it's crazy, man. Do you think you're going to talk to him at all per game? No? I yes. haven't thought that far. Yeah. I haven't thought that far. I, I'm going to do whatever comes natural to me, whether that's me being in the mindset of, you know, I got a game and nothing else matters. Or if I see my brother and I'm like, oh, brother, yeah, you know. But it, it's what I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna do my thing, you know. So. When's the last time you did talk to him or text with him or any communication? It was after his game um, on Sunday. So uh, we spoke briefly about plans um, for this week and uh, you know tickets and stuff and how we're gonna do that with our family. But other than that, I haven't spoken to the man at all. How often do you normally communicate throughout the season? You know, I, I would say not that often, just because we're so busy. And uh, if he's as busy as I am, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you know someone calling me. So, and I think he thinks the same way. Um, but um, regardless of that, we're still brothers, so we we talk every now and then. But um, we're busy, man. So. Are you gonna get together Saturday night, family maybe? No, we're not. We're not. This is. Nothing else matters right now. So if this was a regular season game, I mean, would it be okay texting during the week, uh, maybe seeing each other the day before the game? This is just a different level. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that we would be sitting here talking like this about a game. I mean, we I played him before here, you know, I played them before, but um, it wasn't like this, you know. 
you guys weren't here talking to me about, oh, regular season Vikings versus the Eagles at home. No, we didn't talk like that. And, uh, and I think we did get together, actually, the night before the game. And we did talk during the game, and we did talk after, and we spoke during that week. And none of that's gone down this week. So I don't see it happening before the game or after the game or our Saturday night. This is the biggest game of our lives to this date, and nothing else matters.